I'm Alan T. Hickman from Kansas City, Kansas. Aaron Fiskum from Des Moines, Iowa. Well, the reason we came up with this particular build is um, I consulted with him and said, Aaron, we need to make something that's totally over the top. And I was literally sitting at home watching TV. And on TNT, um, this particular scene from Independence Day came on, and I was like, dude, we have got to do that one. So I messaged him, and I said, Aaron, is this possible? Can we do this? And he thought about it for a minute, and he's like, yeah, we can do it. And that's when he started on the design and other ships. So he can tell you more about how um, the ship actually started to come together. I, when he asked, it was a surprise because you know it's it's a big it's a big undertaking, right? Um, but uh, I guess space is kind of where I've been the last three years. It's when I started building with, and uh, you know, it's kind of gotten a little bit bigger every year. And every year, I think there's that unwritten rule of coming back with something a little bigger and better. And uh, had to take the challenge. So yeah, absolutely. So when you first started on this and kind of you know you knew you wanted to do this scene, were there sketches involved in kind of figuring out how big it would be and how it would come together, or how did that work? You know, I, I, it's funny. When Matt and I talked about this last year. As a matter of fact, when he uh, interviewed me for the uh, Destroyer, uh, I used LDD, started putting it together. And the original plan, I think, I came up with this would have been seven feet wide. And Alan said, "Well, we got to keep it under five feet." And so there is a limit at some point. <laughs> absolutely. And so we, uh, we we slimmed it down a bit, and this is this is what we came up with. And, and, okay. You know, his his design of the city is is on point. You know, it's just cool how he did the Manhattan, and, and well, he helped build some of the ship too once the design was done. So once he said how what size the actual ship was going to be, then I had to get to scale on actually you know of the city and it was just days and days of looking at google maps um and other maps and looking at the movie just constantly for references and uh trying to get it lined up with uh, the empire state building and trying to figure out how wide the ship would be in the movie so from the from uh, from the building, it's 20 miles wide one way and 20 miles wide the other way. So after looking at Aaron's schematics, then I had to figure out and grid what buildings went where, 20 miles west and 20 <laughs> miles east. So there was a lot of planning and, you know, trying to get things pretty right for the piece. Definitely, yeah, planning I'm sure is essential for a piece of this size. So when you talk about in the ship, kind of what the structure is like in there, and then I see you've got sort of the supporting posts as well, and kind of how that all comes together to, to keep the ship together. I, I can tell you what the inside of the ship is like. It's it's an eight point. Uh, it's got eight arms inside, right? It probably should have been twelve, but we went with eight. Uh, it holds everything up. There's a ring built around the outside, but the rest of it's Technic inside. It's a four by four, Technic uh, skeleton, and then um, toward the top. It kind of looks like a, a spider, if you will. It, it, arms are, are extending up to the center, and the center is actually open. So there's a lot of hinge brick in there to make that circular, circular shape. But uh, yeah. Yeah, and then you've got the sort of cords there attached to the. Is that a, a wooden structure there? Well, the first um, stand that the ship was um, supposed to go towards. Um, one of my buddies back home in Kansas City. He's a prop maker and he was actually called off to work on some other things so he couldn't finish uh, the structure for it. So once we got up here, um, I literally had to go and build the construct for it to hold. Um, Aaron was confident what the ship would do, but um, and I was confident that it would hold, but you know, trying to actually put them together since this is the first time it's been suspended so it was either going to work or not work and so about it 17 hours of having an ulcer for both of us on hanging this bad boy <laughs> but it stayed together and i mean it carried into the next day of our stomach still in knots but it after an entire day of seeing it actually uh, stand and 
and stay there together, that's when we were finally relieved. <laughs> yeah, that's very cool. So you mentioned kind of the, the technic inside there. Is this transport all as one giant piece then? No, the, the frame, you could take each of these, there's eight pie pieces really on top. You can take seven of them off. The, the eighth one, which has the bridge and the, the bowl in the front, will dismantle on, you know, into a few different pieces underneath eight pie pieces as well. So they just flip right off, okay. stack them up, bring them along. So it's modular. It makes it a little easier to travel yeah. with. <laughs> Having this in one piece would be a little difficult, I think, to, to bring place to place. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's easy to put together once, uh, once you get it hanging. But even when it's um, dis disassembled in some areas, it's still massive in, in, its, uh, in its parts. So <laughs> yeah, we did about 22,000 pieces on the ship alone. Okay. Um, and I don't, I don't know how much you did on the. Oh, I, I don't know. Man, and and uh, if you really look at the at the sides where he's done the windows, um, it's not necessarily a random pattern. But it's supposed to supposed to look random because on you know um, designing the inner side for me to be able to go in and actually put lighting on those windows, he made it pretty easy to to where I can get them in there. But when you see the outside, it looks like it's some serious work that had been put into it because each one of these here um, consists about. It was like it might be 15 20 15, bricks maybe 20 bricks think, yeah. just in a section and what was it like 286 around the 200 and yeah, yeah two, 200, yeah I think so yep I think that's that right. multiplies quickly <laughs> 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 it took a little time to put together right? <laughs> definitely well it gives, it gives the effect that there's things living inside right so yeah Exactly. That's that's an incredible build. And then you've got a few more Independence Day themed builds over here, if you don't mind going around the corner and talking about some of this stuff as well. So first off, I guess we can start with this this really cool mosaic uh, here and kind of talk about the design of that. And did you use like a computer program to play in that or how did that work? Um, most of my mosaics, man, I just sit there and just draw them out in my head. And I mean, I've been doing it so long that you know, I'll just draw with the pieces and, and choose which colors I'm going to use to highlight. Um, I, I figured since, you know, Aaron designed um, the ship to be massive, the title board for the piece had to be just as massive. So <laughs> that's how that came uh, to be. And along with uh, the canyon fight scene where the alien ship is um, following the jet fighter, um, I looked at uh, the blue jet and incorporated it to, you know, because of time restraint, um, I went ahead and just did everything in an old uh, dark gray. And that's when I was like, Aaron, is there any way you could, you know, do the alien fighter? And so he came down and uh, to my shop and he looked at the, the jet and then just went back um, to his place and uh, was able to come up with the with the fighter, and it turned out phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the alien fighter here is really great. If you can talk about some of the details in there and kind of how that came together, uh, it came together really, really fast. I, I think <laughs> I think Alan knows that I don't do things quick, and he asked me about five weeks before we came here, "Hey, can you do this?" Okay. And uh, yeah, this is probably the fastest build I've ever put together. But um, a lot of turntables on the inside uh, to to get the angles right. Uh, some uh, curved slope, obviously, and a lot of tile. Um, uh, a little hinge up on the top to give that rounding effect. Um, uh, Alan thinks it'd be a great head for a xenomorph, so I think that's probably his next uh, next build. <laughs> There's but, already some ideas boiling here. Yeah, right on, right on. But uh, yeah, overall, um, you know, tough to get the front right, but I think it turned out okay. So yeah, I think it's definitely all this stuff is recognizable from the movie, and so both of you did an amazing job, and I appreciate both of you chatting with me about the builds. Thank you, appreciate it. video at night.